Hi there. Uh, this is the Jersey guy, and I'm uh, going to explain to you a little bit about uh, first world hockey player problems. Um, as you know, I'm I'm in the Jersey gig. That's my thing. Uh, anyway, there is a problem that does need to be discussed because it's kind of inviting the devil, but you don't really have much of a choice in the matter. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you something. Here's my shower. It's uh, not especially clean, but you know, it's not that dirty. Uh, anyway, um, I could clean it fairly damn quickly if I wanted to. Um, anyway, there's something. Like, this shower head is, you know, it's, it's decent, right? And, um, you know, um, the thing is, the uh, water system is specifically tailored for important individuals. And like the simplest of things can be really detrimental to, um, to um, somebody's character when they're embarrassed. So there's the joke of the golden shower going on all around. Now there are various different types. Like I can't believe resources were squandered on being able to do this, but it, that is what happened. Um, because as people know, urine, if it has a lot of uh, water in it, will be clear and you won't know it. Maybe there's only one tenth of it in the uh, shower, you know, in the plumbing system, if you know, if you're worth a bit of money. Um, perhaps, you know, there will be times where it is a yellow liquid that does smell like urine and it in fact is not urine. And sometimes it full on will be urine. And you may go, well, what digital editing, there's that factor as well, why would they even have to bother? They make the effort for uh, important individuals uh, every now and then. I mean, it's, you know, it's not, it's, it's a not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like doing that to somebody, but, um, you know, that's how, that's how some people think. And I'm like, it's a grievous waste of resources to do something like that. Uh, but they, you know, they always revert back to, oh, well, what's in the water anyway, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. I mean, you look around New York, around the Statue of Liberty, and there's garbage all over the place, and it's just like, yeah, all right. Um, I hate the Rangers, by so, you know, I despise the Rangers. Uh, never want to see them want to win a Stanley Cup ever again. I really mean that. And, um, okay, so... May you ask why I'm wearing a Pittsburgh Penguins jersey when I openly mocked Sidney Crosby the other day. In fact, I mocked the guy um, who's the number on the back of this. Uh, what's the best way to show you? Yes. Well, it's the Chris Letang anyway. I don't got the best, uh, you know, I, I don't stretch, okay? So it's not easy for me to show. Anyway, uh, that doesn't matter. It's whatever. Um, Point being, why would I explain this fact when I openly insulted Sidney Crosby, the, the, um, the golden goal, uh, yeah, 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 and, you know, promote Ovechkin, whom uh, Chris Letang, you know, didn't particularly like. He probably disliked him as much, if not more, than Sidney Crosby. So why am I wearing his jersey and talking about this little concept of uh, first world problems. Why am I doing that? Because Chris Letang knows the price of failure. Sidney Crosby, although they're buds, failed. He was supposed to stop Alexander Ovechkin from ever winning a Stanley Cup. He gloated about it. He laughed about it. He cried like a bitch about it. And, uh, you know, he promoted that ideological type of thinking. And what is he really? He looks like, you know, a spoiled crybaby. And, you know, Chris Tang doesn't want to look like that, right? So, you know, I bring this up because, you know, I'm in a position where I don't trust, uh, you know, members of my own party. So I got to, you know, I got to look at all angles. Anyway, that's that. There's something else I wanted to bring up. And that was our sponsor of the day. The sponsor of the day is 
Sun Chips. They are delicious. Uh, they don't sell particularly well because uh, there's a bit of a backlash with potato chips. I was paid in two bags of them yesterday. I mean, my credit card doesn't seem to work anymore, so I'm paid in edibles. And two bags of potato chips, you know, not exactly what you'd call broccoli and carrots, but uh, it's, it's a, you know, it's a something. So yeah, we got two flavors here, our garden salsa, I really like that one. And uh, we also got um, French onion. And, um, you know, um, those are what you would call um, not, not bad tasting chips. They ain't been on a deal and for some reason they're put on the bottom shelf usually, so people don't buy them. And with the negative press on potato chips, why would they ever be a negative press on potato chips? It's the same people who have a negative press on alcoholic beverages. And we all know we can't have that, right? So, um, yeah. That's my message for today, and I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Have a good one.